What do you do when you have a whole bunch of baby turtles? Why, you make turtle soup, of course. Oh, turtley. Okay, so I wasn't really going to eat them. Just wanted to get your attention and tell you a little bit about baby painted turtles and what really would eat them in the wild. Baby turtles are a bite-sized snack for lots of critters, including many kinds of wading birds like herons, cranes, and egrets, or other predatory birds like gulls or even kingfishers. They're also easy prey for raccoons, skunks, or other mammals that hunt along the water's edge. So how do baby turtles defend themselves against such predators? Well, all they can really do is hide. That's why the tops of their shells, heads, and legs are colored the way they are, dark green or brown with yellowish stripes and blotches. It's good camouflage for an aquatic habitat. But look at this. The underside of a painted turtle. That's not exactly camouflage coloration, is it? In fact, it's just the opposite. The bold color and patterning is actually aposematic coloration, warning colors. Skunks with their black and white stripes and bees with their bold colors and stripes are warning predators that they have weapons you don't want to mess with. So why should turtles have warning colors on their undersides? What's going to see them from below? Why fish, of course. And what do turtles possess that they'd want to warn a fish predator about? Well, while they're definitely not poisonous or even bad tasting, it turns out they do have some way of defending themselves against fish. Noxious behavior. Fish often gulp their food into their mouths and check it out before they swallow it down whole. If a fish gulps in a baby turtle, the turtle's shell protects it at first, then the turtle starts to claw and scrape at the inside of the fish's mouth and gills with the sharp claws on all four of its feet. The combination of the turtle's shell and its clawing and scraping inside the fish's mouth is doubtless very irritating and is often enough to make the fish spit the turtle out. This defensive behavior would not be much good against large birds or mammals that can peck, crush, or chew up a little turtle. So for predators that see turtles from above, camouflage is the best protection. But for fish, the turtle's noxious behavior works. So they have evolved the bright colors and patterning on their undersides to warn fish not to try and eat them. At least that's one theory of why painted turtles have evolved such bold belly colors and earned the name painted turtle. So have a close look at this guy's belly. And now we're going to pick up another one. And you'll notice that it's a distinctly different pattern. In fact, every different baby painted turtle has unique patterning on its plaster on the underside of the shell. They're pretty much like fingerprints or snowflakes. No two are alike. At least none that I've ever seen. Come here, you little guys. I'll show you another one. Every one of the little guys I've got here is quite distinctly different. Gorgeous little critters, aren't they? Bye for now.